Hi guys, so this is video nine of Duke and Prince and we're going to be looking at pole work, the importance of it, why I do it, there's going to be some slow-mo videos, so hopefully this will be really useful for you whether you've got young horses or more advanced horses. Towards the end I'll give you a few tips and ideas as well, so I hope you enjoy, thanks. So for those of you that haven't seen my previous videos, um, both these ponies were very green, hadn't seen a pole before. So we started off with just poles in the field um, and building their confidence up in the groundwork before we moved up to the arena. So now we've got Duke. Um, I always start Duke off with a little bit of groundwork. So lowering his head, bending and flexing him left and right. And, you know, just seeing where he is in his brain space before I move on to lunging. Then we're going to focus on stop start. So obviously it's really important that the horse's muscles are warmed up before you start doing any pole work. But also you want to make sure that they're working with you. You've got their focus, you've got control. So for me, I'm really passionate about my pole work and doing the majority of it in walk. Walk is four beat. The horse has really got to focus on one, two, three, four. As soon as you move up to trot, it becomes a two beat and the diagonal pairs. So like us being left handed, right handed, horses will have a stronger and a weaker diagonal. So that tends to be a lazy hind or a heavier landing in front, you know, falling out the shoulder, um, not being a straight. So and also putting speed in makes all that even harder. So coming back to the walk, um, focusing on each footfall. And as a handler, you can see more of what's going on. Um, and hopefully you can correct and straighten things, whether it's by using poles, angled poles, fences, long lines. Um, but you can build on that, hopefully, in a good controlled manner. So here I've just got Duke nicely warmed up, some good halts. Then have a little sniff of some poles. Then we're going to work on some corridors, as I call it. So giving him chance to focus on poles either side. Hopefully he's going to lower, check that he's not going to rush or panic. Drainage pipes, guys, they're great. You know, it's angled, they're slightly bigger, they make a noise. Um, again, each time, keep focusing on halt. Is he still working with me? Then I might work on different strides. So one, two, three, one, two, and out. There's a pole at the side just to encourage to keep him in. This is a great clip, really lowered, but he kept his rhythm all the way through that. Really nice. So it's nice for us to see horses at different angles, but it's also good for horses to work with people above them. Um, we've got the tractor in the background, um, but you can see here how Duke's having to stretch round. Um, the next clip is brilliant. I like to, from a handler point of view, look back on these so I can see how Duke's pushing, how he's landing, um, but also his footfall. So is he straight? Is he on two tracks? Does the hind leg follow the front? Looking at these red lines the angle of the shoulder, the stretch of the rib cage. Looking at this in slow motion really makes you appreciate how much you can see with this left shoulder really comes up and stretches round and the whole rib cage has to, you know, really kind of stretch through and the muscles and the push. He doesn't always land quite as level this way. He would like to swing out if he could, whether it's through the shoulder or a swing of the hind leg. Again, guys, look at this, how much they lift you know, the angle of the joints and not doing too much with young horses. Looking at things in slow-mo really helps you to appreciate what they're going through. So here I've raised one pole just to give him something else to look at, make it a bit more interesting. Um, and then I'm going to move on to some more advanced work. And this is sort of a few weeks down the line. I've got some of our homemade cavalettis, a few more raised poles. I love this video. He's really focusing on each footfall. It's even, it's consistent. Each foot is placed. Really good video. Really, really pleased with that. Then we're going to just make a fuss of him. You know, good pony. Few minutes, couple of times a week. That's enough. Build on it. Now we're going to look at Prince. It's really important for Prince to have different handlers. So I'm hoping that Prince is going to grow a little bit and fill out so that I can ride him. If not, he will have to be a nice child's pony. So for him to have different handlers um, is really important. But, you know, take a look at this little video. It's actually one single pole, but he's really lifting. He's really focusing on the angle of each joint. And for us to look back on this 
it's really useful. I'm also a biomechanics coach of horse and rider, so understanding how easy it is for my horses to flex one way or the other, how they pick up, how they land is really valuable. Um, moving on to little Alice here. Now, Alice has only handled him a couple of times um, and I'm going to help Alice through this video, but I'm going to talk over it. So here she's lowered him a little and she's backed him up. Super. Really pleased with that. Um, we're going to walk on. We're going to halt in the tunnel. Um, and you can see here he's walking with his head up a little bit. You know, in time, we'll encourage him to lower into the contact. But with these um, tunnels, they're great for Holt rain back, but just guys a few steps at a time. So here I personally would have lowered him just a little. And then as he backs up, just a couple of steps. And you could see he's almost about to go crooked there. Alice really kind of nailed that and, and stopped and walked on before she lost the straightness. So that was a really good call from her. Now here he comes round, there's lots to look at. I probably would have put in a circle or a stop, a rain back, just to get his focus again because you can see he's clearly looking elsewhere. But, you know, he's back in the game. He's only just three. So good job. Um, and we're not lunging him yet. He's not ready. Um, I want his joints and his muscles to be a little bit more developed before we do that. But really good video. So here, this is a bit advanced, but I just was trying to encourage and show Alice how I drive him into the contact and then feel the rope and release. So this is a really good video for you guys, but it's probably a little bit too much for Prince at the moment. We literally went through these um, once on each rein, but he's really nice to look at because he really focuses on each footfall. Um, he's quite consistent and balanced through each diagonal pair, which is what I really liked. And again, here you can see the pressure and release. So it looks worse than it is when I give him a little tug, um, but you can see through the head collar, it's nice and soft. It's a release. Again, listen to me and release again. Good pony, really good video. Now, these next few clips are a lot more advanced. So this is um, Duke several weeks down the line. But again, you can see really stretching and the diagonal pair, lovely. That obviously is in trot. Now we've got dear old Cedric, but look at the pots. So these are Aviform supplement tubs. Great pole raisers, guys. Doesn't cost anything. Or you can use another pole. So you can do pole and grid work clinics. You can do them ridden or you can do them in hand. Just a few ideas, guys. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, we've got a lot more footage that I need to put together of Duke mainly because uh, obviously Prince is still growing. But working on Duke, a little bit of trot work and straightness, really focusing on building that strength, pushing through more with his right hind, which is really helping with his canter work. So... Any kind of questions, please ask. It'd be lovely if you all like and share my page so that we can hopefully help others as well. Um, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos, click on the bell and then we can inform you when more things are coming through. But uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching and look forward to seeing more. Thanks a lot.